You really need a passion for children and for nurturing and caring for them and just to be adaptable to a child's needs. And you really need to be listening, get down to their level, give them eye contact. They're there for you to meet their needs. Welcome to part two of our video mini series on the childcare industry. In this episode, we'll meet with real life industry managers, trainers and workers to find out what worker expectations are and what skills and attributes are required to work in this industry. Personal qualities I would be looking for straight away would be a person who's going to go and sit on the ground and interact and speak to a child. And, and they're the hands-on people that are needed in the industry. Theory is excellent and your knowledge is excellent, your performance is excellent, but if you don't have that caring, genuine nurturing, then um, I think you need to look elsewhere because you really need to be there for families and they need to know that their child is left in a safe environment when they leave at the, in the morning and when they come back in the afternoon that their child has been cared for by a qualified person be somebody that likes paperwork <laughs> that is a big part of childcare but people will help you with that um, you need to be able to have time management skills you need to be somebody that is passionate you need to be passionate in this industry because it's it's a challenging one it's a rewarding one but it's one that does take a bit of effort and yeah it's not just wiping noses <laughs> Here you're dealing with like a lot of parents and children and colleagues and it's a very like team driven environment as well so people skills communication confidence as well is a massive thing because communication is huge in this in, in this industry so yeah I think you just got to be confident and and happy and have those people skills yeah I think first you need to have a love of caring for children and a love of enjoying being with children so I think some skills would be just being open to whatever can be thrown at you, being a bit versatile in what you're, um, I suppose, willing to do and in how you approach different situations. I think you need a good sense of humour <laughs> because sometimes the things that are told to you and, and spoken to you uh, just come completely from left field and you need to think on your feet. But um, good, uh, good personal skills so that you can communicate with families and parents and really communicate and see what they are asking of you and what they want for their children and their education. Patience and empathy and you know wanting you know you have to sort of really care for the children and like be invested in the children to really make it work otherwise it could be very draining. Um, there's a lot of like things happening it's a very busy job um, but if you feel like if you're passionate about the children and you really want them to succeed and you want to help them then it will be very fulfilling for you but yeah you really do need to have that empathy and that, that respect for children and that yeah, patience for you know, you know they're not always going to do everything the way you want them to and that's fine but yeah. For me when I hire a staff member the first thing I, I look for is um, a natural genuine loving nature how the person presents themselves and how they speak um, and the enthusiasm that they can tell me stories about their own childhood from there i'll ask them a few questions about why they want to come into the industry um, that we're not just babysitters there's a lot involved we have to children's development we have to supervise we have to take care of these children every single day we have to love them regardless of their family background regardless of where they come from I think childcare is a great industry for the right person. You do need to have some form of empathy, some form of caring, and you really need to enjoy your job. We have a lot of fun. If you don't like dressing up or getting paint on you, then perhaps it's not the best job for you. But if you like children and you don't mind changing nappies or wiping noses, as well as painting and playing with balloons and soccer and football and all the fun things we do, then it is a great job. Job. We love it. Understand that everybody's different. Um, don't think that just because one child can do something that another child like, can, because sometimes it's not like that. Um, everybody is unique, so you need to respect everybody for who they are. You need to understand that everybody comes from different backgrounds and that um, no two child is the same. Um, 
you just got to be loving and nurturing and caring. I feel like having a male here is, I don't know, the boys here can relate to me a bit more than the girls. Like they'll listen to me a bit more than the girls sometimes. Like if they're doing something wrong and I ask them politely to stop, they'll listen to me because I'm a boy as well. So. I just feel like it's good to like be able to come and share my experiences, like my sports that I play, just the stuff that I enjoy doing that some of the girls might not enjoy doing, but I just bring my experience here to pass on to them. In the next episode, we will look at what qualifications are required to work in the childcare industry, the various training pathways, study options and career progression opportunities available.